Did the Big Bang perhaps never happen? Dr. Richard Liu, a physics professor at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, has published a new model that definitively rejects the Big Bang. Instead, tiny, lightning-fast bursts of energy are said to have flooded space and time with matter, thus forming galaxies and cosmic structures. In other words, the universe would be continuously creating itself. But what led him to this radical assumption? And what does it mean for dark matter and dark energy? Be sure to stay tuned until the end and find out with us. How wrong can you be? In fact, until the early 20th century, renowned physicists such as Albert Einstein were firmly convinced that the universe was eternal and unchanging. However, this cosmic worldview was abruptly overturned when Edwin Hubble discovered in the 1920s that the Milky Way is by no means the only galaxy in the cosmos, and that the other galaxies are actually moving away from us. However, this is not because they are drifting through space, but because space itself is constantly expanding. The observed expansion of space also led to a revolutionary reverse conclusion. Because what is growing must once have been smaller. And if we look at the observed development of the cosmos in reverse, we eventually arrive at a point where the density of matter and energy is infinite and all spatial distances are zero. So we have calculated our way back to the original singularity and thus to the starting point from which, according to the Big Bang theory, everything emerged 13.8 billion years ago. It's important to note, however, that the Big Bang does not refer to an explosion into an existing space. Instead, it refers to the joint emergence of space, time, and matter from the original singularity. The Big Bang theory is supported by several observations. First and foremost is cosmic microwave background radiation, a nearly isotropic radiation that originated about 380,000 years ago and still fills the entire universe today. Furthermore, the Big Bang is also supported by the abundance of elements and the redshift of galaxies, which shows that the universe is still expanding. However, it is doing so in a way that surprised all scientists. Originally, Many researchers believe that the expansion of the cosmos would have to slow down over time. This is because, as is well known, all matter in the cosmos exerts gravitational forces, and this gravity should counteract the expansion, slow it down, and perhaps even bring it to a complete halt one day. But puzzlingly, the exact opposite is the case. Observations of distant supernovae have shown that the expansion of space is actually accelerating. In the aftermath, an explanation was needed for the accelerated expansion of the cosmos, and experts put forward the idea of dark energy. This is a mysterious force that counteracts gravity and thus stimulates the growth of space. But since its existence has not been proven experimentally, its physical interpretation remains largely unclear. Dark matter is equally enigmatic. It was postulated to explain the movement of visible matter, in particular, the speed at which stars orbit the center of their galaxy. But in this case too, dark matter is not directly visible. It can only be detected through its interaction with gravity. What came before the Big Bang? Although the Big Bang theory is now firmly established, we must not forget that it is still accompanied by some big question marks. For what led to something suddenly emerging from nothing 13.8 billion years ago? Was there a trigger, or was it pure coincidence? And above all, what came before? Well, a certain Stephen Hawking once said, quote, asking what was before the Big Bang is like asking what lies north of the North Pole. Because time itself only began with the Big Bang, this is an event that cannot have been caused by anything or anyone. The laws of nature themselves tell us that the universe could have come into being without the need for energy or a cause. As a result, there was indeed nothing before the Big Bang. No space, no time, no energy, and no matter. From this void, the cosmos could have been created by a so-called vacuum fluctuation. In the field of quantum physics, short-lived particles and antiparticles are constantly being created out of nothing. These virtual particle pairs exist for only a tiny fraction of a second before disappearing again. Some theories suggest that such a fluctuation in an extreme form could have created the entire universe. In this case, 
The Big Bang would have been a spontaneous creation of space and time out of nothing. However, not all experts are convinced by this idea, and some answer the question of what came before with something else. Roger Penrose, for example, believes that the cosmos is subject to an eternal cycle of destruction and rebirth. But the idea of a multiverse is also being discussed in this context. Within this context, what we call the universe would be merely a tiny link in a chain of infinitely many universes. But there is another way of looking at it. Beyond that, and this is the exciting part, there are researchers for whom the question of what came before the Big Bang is irrelevant from the outset, for the very simple reason that there was never such a thing as a Big Bang. The end of the Big Bang Theory? Lou's Radical Approach Published in the journal Classical and Quantum Gravity, Richard Liu's new theory is causing quite a stir among experts. According to this theory, the physics professor at the University of Alabama in Huntsville is challenging the long-established idea of the Big Bang, and instead suggests that the cosmos did not emerge from a single Big Bang, but from a series of rapid, localized bursts of energy. The scientist refers to these as temporal singularities, and they are said to have laid the foundation for galaxies and other cosmic structures by flooding space and time with energy and matter. In the process, the model provides an alternative explanation for the expansion of the universe and suggests that temporal singularities have always been the basis for cosmic evolution, even if they cannot be observed themselves. What is particularly interesting here is the fact that Lu does not need dark matter or dark energy at all. The author himself states, this new model can explain both the formation and stability of cosmic structures and the observed properties of the expansion of the universe through density singularities in time that affect all of space uniformly and replace the conventional concepts of dark matter and dark energy. In detail, the new model builds on an older one by the scientist, according to which gravity could exist even without mass. However, the resulting approach would not require exotic phenomena such as negative mass or negative density. Instead, the universe would expand due to a sequence of step-like energy bursts that permeate the entire universe with matter and energy and are so fast that they cannot be detected by any observational method. Liu explains, in current theory, matter and energy appear and disappear in sudden bursts. And the interesting thing is that this does not violate any conservation laws. These singularities are not observable because they occur only rarely and for extremely short periods of time. This could be the reason why dark matter and dark energy have not yet been found. The origin of these temporal singularities is unknown, but the same is true of the moment of the Big Bang. Furthermore, the scientist says that temporal singularities generate negative pressure in space and time and thus a form of energy with a repulsive gravitational effect that, similar to dark energy, contributes to the accelerated expansion of the universe. The main difference to the Big Bang theory is that in the Big Bang model, a single event is responsible for the birth of the universe and its ongoing expansion, while in Liu's model, temporal singularities occur continuously. The scientist explains how we should imagine this in detail as follows. Temporal singularities are not omnipresent. That is, they are not present at all times. They only occur in brief moments when matter and energy are evenly distributed throughout the universe. Between these moments, they are nowhere to be found. The only difference between this model and the standard model is that the temporal singularity occurred only once in the standard model, while it occurs multiple times in the new model. In other words, one could say that the universe here resembles invisible, irregular fireworks that leave behind a scarred, wavy space-time. The cosmos thus continually recreates itself, so to speak, and we understand why we have not yet been able to directly detect the ominous dark energy or dark matter. The bottom line is that these would only be the consequences of the singularities that we interpret as dark energy or dark matter. But what does all this mean in concrete terms? Can we now finally say goodbye to the Big Bang Theory? Well, we shouldn't be quite so hasty. After all, Liu's theory would first have to be substantiated with concrete data. The author states that the best way to do this would be to use a large Earth-based telescope to conduct deep field observations. 
The data would then have to be sorted by redshift, and with enough time, it could be shown that the Hubble diagram exhibits jumps in the redshift distance relation. According to him, this would be extremely revealing. But until then, the theory remains an exciting, but as yet largely unexplored approach. However, the approach of your click on the subscribe button has already been thoroughly researched. Simply press the thumb icon and subscribe now to never miss a new video from us again. See you soon.